Good afternoon, Year 11. So, as you sit there watching this video, I have no doubt that there are two questions going through your mind. Um, first and foremost, who on earth is this chap talking to us now? And secondly, what on earth is going on? Let me just focus slightly on that second one for now. So what's going on in terms of the announcements that government made last night? Another lockdown, another closure, partial closure of schools. Um, and what are the implications for your GCSEs and BTECs? Before I get on to that, I want to address the first question. Who on earth is this chap talking to you now? So my name's Mr. Wall. I'm your new principal. I'm your new head teacher. I started, what, yesterday, two, on Monday, two days ago. Um, so I'm your new head teacher. And what I want to do is I want to talk to you a little bit about my background, but also what we're doing to support you to move forward. So as I say, I've been a head teacher for the last seven years in a school in um, just south of Stockport. Um, alongside that, I've also been looking after um, two, other two other secondary schools, three primary schools, and have supported a number of schools so that their students get the best possible outcomes. And that's really what I'm here for today and for you. So I started two days ago, and as such, what I've done is I've inherited a school which is very much a great school, going to get great results for you students and going to get great outcomes so that you can progress and move forward. So let me talk to you about the implications of where we are now. As you sat there last night listening to the Prime Minister announce that we were closing schools and we're going into another national lockdown and that there's going to be some changes to exams, you will have been thinking, I wonder what implications there are for me, for my GCSEs and my BTECs. Now, it's probably the opposite of what went through your head. You may have sat there and thought they're cancelling exams. That means I don't have to do any work. Or that means that actually it's going to be an easier ride for me. It's actually the exact opposite, Year 11. What it means is you now have in your control, in your gift, what you get for your GCSEs and your BTECs in the summer. What it means is how you engage with your remote learning. How you engage over the next 7 to 14 weeks will determine exactly what you get. We don't have the detail about how it's going to work. We don't have the detail about how your grades will be calculated. But our experience from summer 2020 tells us it will be a mix of everything. It will be your mock exam data. It will be your classwork that you had done. It will be your assessments that you'll have done in class or you'll have done for homework. It will be made up of a range of things. But most importantly, it will be how you demonstrate to your teachers your potential for learning. And you will demonstrate that over the next seven weeks. So what you've got to do is you've got to take control. You've got to make sure that you are there on your team's lessons every day, that you are jumping in with both feet and getting involved. Actually, Year 11, I think out of all of the year groups in this country, you're the year group which has been most adversely affected by lockdown. In Year 10, you had six months, six months where you were based at home. In the autumn term of year 11, you were affected by bubble closures. And now, as you sit there now, you are facing a minimum of seven weeks of remote learning. That means it is very hard, very hard for your teachers to make an accurate, accurate judgment over where you're at and where your learning potential is. What it also means is it's in your gift. Year 11, I've been talking to your teachers and I've been talking to your staff and they think you are genuinely an inspirational bunch of young people. But it's now time. It's now time to make a decision about how much you are going to demonstrate to us to how much potential you've got. You can't make up six months worth of time at home. You can't. But that's not how these GCSEs and these BTECs are going to be assessed. These GCSEs and BTECs are going to be assessed by how much potential you have. And that potential will be demonstrated by how you engage over the next, as I say, minimum seven weeks.
We're going to be throwing a lot at you online. Your teachers are all set up. They're all ready to take the registers. They're all ready to put that work and do live lessons, do live assessments, get you on some new learning platforms, get you on some new apps and get you on some new work. But it's how you engage over the next seven weeks will determine how successful you're going to be in your GCSEs and your BTECs. Now, I don't want you to worry. You are a great bunch of young people. You are. You are, have been very engaged. You have been doing your work. But now's the time. Because if not now, year 11, when? You're not going to get another opportunity to demonstrate to your subject teachers just how much you can learn. Yes, it is about how much you already know. But more importantly, it's about how you demonstrate your potential for learning so we can accurately predict just how good or how much progress you can make. Over the next two months, we'll learn more about how we are going to do this work. We're going to learn more about how we're going to give to the exam boards what grades you should be getting. There's going to be a lot of news reports. There's going to be a lot of discussion in the media and online about how these grades will be calculated. But fundamentally, it all comes down to how much you jump in with both feet now. Because year 11, if not now, when? I know you would say, yes, you're the new head teacher, Mr. War. You would say this. But honestly, year 11, I'm telling you this straight. If you want the best outcome, if you want the best possible grades to give you that passport to the next level, to college, to apprenticeship, to further on to higher education, university, employment and so on, you're going to have to demonstrate in the here and now just how good you are, how much potential you've got. All of your staff are ready, they're waiting and they're there to support you. Good luck Year 11. I'm going to be sending you more video messages, more notes and more letters. There's a letter going to your parents and carers this afternoon as well. Year 11, I'm sorry that the first experience you've got of your new head teacher, your new principal is in this form online in a video. But Year 11, it's time to jump in with both feet. It's time to get involved because if not now, when? Make it happen, Year 11. Really demonstrate to us just how good you are. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will very much look forward to seeing you in person when we do get the schools back open. Take care, Year 11.